Hello, everybody. This is our huddle up on August the 22nd, 2017. And thank you guys for showing up. And for those that couldn't, I hope you enjoy the recording tomorrow. And I'm going to go ahead and start the share the screen. Voila. And there's the crew. Let's get this done. I need my glasses for this. You do? All righty. So it's time to share. Um, when I think of my soul, I see my soul as I'm, I'm, I'm reading a book and that was in there. And, and I just found that very interesting. So and I'll probably take that one. Uh, the one stress that keeps showing up in my life is I am most at peace when what I am most grateful for. And today I want to share most. Those are our common ones. So I'll go ahead and I'll start first. And when I think of my soul, I see my own soul as my conscience. I, um, I think that um, for me, my soul is my inner voice. Yeah, that's what I think of when I think of my soul. That's a very good answer. Interesting. Who wants to go next? Okay, I am most at peace when I sleep. <laughs> I mean, I really sleep. When I sleep, I sleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm really at peace then. The rest of the time, no. Uh -huh. I'm going to make it small so I can see everybody. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dorothy. Marsha, you want to go next? Bird ball? Yeah. Sure. Um, the one stress that keeps showing up in my life is that I know I have to start changing my eating habits and um, I'm just kind of fighting against it. You know, I, I know I have to do it, but I'm not ready and I, I want to do it. And that's the, what I'm facing right now. Does anybody in the room understand that or relate to it at all? I'll, I'll, I'll say me. <laughs> me. Yeah. That was good. Okay, Marcia Pickering. Um, I think I'm, I'm most pleased that when I'm either working in my garden or since we've returned to church. Um, I'm grateful today that Dick is doing better. Oh, yes. Okay. Amen on that. Um, the stress that keeps showing up is my lack of trusting God to take care of me and turning things over to him and taking one day at a time and quit living in the past or in the future and live for today. And, um, I don't know. When I think of my soul, I don't know. Right now it's very restless. And <laughs> but, but I'm working on it. If you think of it as your inner strength, I, when I see you, I think of your soul as your inner strength. It is. I, yeah, you're right. Yeah. The, when I look at you, that's what I see. It is. Yeah. Very nice. And, oh, I forgot, too. The other thing I'm grateful for today is Colleen is setting up the, her plane fair to come down. And so we've gone from October to November back to October. So I'm not <laughs> Been a game here, but I would like to get together and stuff with with everybody. Yeah, but make sure we know when she's here. We, we, it's just a drive, and we can all jump in one car. That'll be fun. I think it would be great. Get the two military brats together. Uh -huh. yeah. Lisa, you want to go next? Yes, I will. When I think of my soul, I see my soul as, and the first thing that popped into my head is a phoenix flying above the ashes. Most of them are rising from the ashes, like they're partway in the flames, but I'm above them now. All right. I can see that, Lisa. I absolutely can. That's interesting. <laughs> and the one stress that keeps showing it up in my life is none. I'm completely <laughs> stress-free. Life is going good. I'm totally blessed. Um, and what I am most grateful for today in particular is my closet doors are in and I had somebody working in my house today, tomorrow, and the next day. 
So, <laughs> yay. And they're beautiful, by the way. I didn't get to look at them. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So tomorrow, I, they're prepping my bathroom. It'll all be ready for tile. And then Thursday, they're installing my floors in the whole middle part of my house. Oh, wow. wow. So that's I'm cool. very excited. Yeah, let's go. Dorothy. Well, the only thing I can say is that this vacation is turning out to be wonderful. Um, I had all of my children here. Wow. Uh, either Sunday or Monday um, and very enjoyable this is a place I, we're at a place that we used to bring the kids when they were small uh -huh. and it brings back a lot of memories it's an older um, cabin mm -hmm. but it has some good memories and it was a good decision to switch it to here because Dawn had a wonderful day and a half Wow. Wonderful. Yeah. Yay. That was very good. She go back home? Oh yeah, she went back home uh, yesterday at like around noon. And Marshall's with her? Uh, no, Marshall is back with his mom and dad. Oh, okay. He came up here and he, he and his two brothers stayed here also. Uh-huh. And uh, the all three of my children were here with their families. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think that's great, Dorothy. Congratulations. Lots of pictures. Did you take was, lots of pictures? I took a lot of pictures, but my camera does not take good pictures. Mm, it's usually the person behind the lens. Well, <laughs> <laughs> How was your visit with your sister and Gary? Good. Very good. And my other sister, Pearl, and her boyfriend brought my mother here to the park also. Oh, awesome. So we I had my whole family here, and that Barbara and Gary. Amazing! Um, yeah, we had a wonderful time. Oh my gosh, you must be more relaxed than you've been in a year or two. Yes, probably. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend came today and visited with me all day. She drove two and a half hours to get here, and she's gone home already. Wow! Um, Who's yeah. there now? Nobody, just me. My son's picking me up in a few minutes. About um, about about eight o'clock, uh -huh. and and I'm going to go over there. All right, that sounds cool, Dorothy. So let's go ahead and go. We all know about the challenges starting up. So tonight we're going to talk about what's in your heart is far more important than what's in your resume, your job description, and even your bank account. Only the size of your heart matters. When you want to change, it will be lies in your heart that gets you there life is not fair keep moving forward the only thing that makes life unfair is the delusion that it should be fair <laughs> I like that. think about it that's yeah. where the yeah. problem lies right there mm -hmm. life isn't fair and the sooner you get to know that the better off you will be why would I say that it's easy to blame your lot in life on some outside force, to stop trying because you believe fate is against you. It is easy to think that how you were raised, the things your parents did or what school you went to is all that determines your future. Nothing can be further from the truth. A bird sitting on a tree is never afraid of the branch breaking because her trust is not on the branch, but on its wings. Always believe in yourself. I mean, how many times do we hear that? Okay. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, no matter how good you are, you still end up with the short straw. There will be obstacles, there will be doubters, there will be mistakes, but with hard work, there are no limits. Don't complain, don't blame it on your misfortune, stand tall, look forward, and continue on. Obstacles don't block your path, they are your path. So, in saying all of that, and the reason that I share that information tonight is because I think that we all think of what we're doing as being healthy. But, and the reason I had that 
uh, comment in there about the soul is so much of everything we talk about is not so much about anything on the outside of us, but about so much about what's on the inside of us and what it is that has got us to this point where we're at today in our life. And the ones that persevere, those are the ones that are still reaching forward. And I think that's part of who we are while we're here together, is we're still reaching forward. We could be somewhere else doing something else. I mean, this is not like the, the highlight of anybody's we, but we still keep showing up here because we want better for ourselves. And failure is in all of our lives. But if we use it as a stepping stone, as instead of an excuse, and I think, who was that? Oh, that lady at convention, she was talking about the child that she had that was born, and uh, there were so many problems that the child had. And uh, she didn't, she said she became her why, not her excuse. And I think that's exactly probably a good message that what we were talking about there really meant. So now let me find my mouse here and get us back over there. Anybody want to comment on any of that? Does it strike a nerve for anyone? Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> So last week I told you we're going to uh, talk about ghrelin. And everybody said, ghrelin? What's ghrelin? And yeah. we've talked about cortisol. And we're going to eventually talk about leptin. And we're going to talk about insulin. And then we're going to tie all those hormones together. And you might get a, a, a really good picture of the choices that you have. And you'll hear common things throughout uh, each one of these hormones that we have. Uh, Lisa, you want to read? Okay, sure. Huh? Sure. Sure. Wait, wait. Make it bigger. I can't see it. Uh -huh. All right. There we go. Get rid of this. You can see that? Yes. Okay. Weight loss can be tough, but maintaining your weight after a diet is even harder. Research shows a large percentage of dieters regain all the weight they lost within one year. Weight regain, weight regain is partially due to your body's appetite and weight regulating hormones, which try to maintain and even regain fat. Ghrelin, the hunger hormone, <laughs> plays a key role because it signals your brain to eat. Its levels increase during a diet and intensify hunger, making it hard to lose weight. What is ghrelin? Ghrelin is a hormone produced in the gut. It is often termed the hunger hormone. It travels through your bloodstream and to your brain where it tells your brain to become hungry and seek out food. Ghrelin's main function is to increase appetite. It makes you consume more food, take in more calories, and store fat. Sounds like a gremlin, not a ghrelin. I know oh. that guy very well. But, <laughs> so, yeah. so do you think we can all identify sure. ghrelin yes. in our body? I mean, is it something you actually can identify as having happened to you and now you know what to call it, right? Yes. Okay. Considering I lost 150, 120, and 100, yeah. um, that's a testament to gaining the weight back. You had lots of ghrelin. Um, yes. Marsh, uh, Bird Mom, you want to read now? Okay. All right. Um, in addition, it affects your sleep-wake cycle, reward-seeking behavior, taste sensation, and carbohydrate metabolism. This hormone is produced in your stomach and secreted when your stomach is empty. It enters the bloodstream and affects a part of the brain known as the hypothalamus, which governs your hormones and appetite. The higher your levels, the hungrier you get. The lower your levels, the more full you feel, and the easier it is to eat fewer calories. So if you want to lose weight, lowering your ghrelin levels can be beneficial. Ghrelin may, be, may sound like a terrible diet-wrecking hormone. However, in the past, it played a role in survival by helping people maintain a healthy level of body fat. These days, if you undereat or struggle to gain weight, higher ghrelin levels may help you consume more food and calories per day. So remember back in the day of the Neanderthal that we talked yeah, about? Yeah. That's exactly what they're talking about right there, that survival. 
Mm -hmm. um, I have a question. Uh huh. So, with the pill to fix everything, where's the ghrelin pill? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Dorothy, you want to read? Can't. It's too small. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, oh, you're I'm on, on my phone. You're on your phone. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, who's out there? Tony, you want to read? <laughs> Marsha, how about you? I can. How to lower ghrelin and reduce hunger. Ghrelin seems to be a hormone that can't be directly controlled with drugs, diet, or supplements. However, there are a few things you can do to help maintain healthy levels. Every, eat every four hours. Mm -hmm. Let me say three, though, don't we, Connie? I, I, I was really surprised to see this. We'll talk about this after you read it. Okay. Eat every four hours. Gremlin is produced and secreted on a four-hour schedule. In order to keep gremlin low, you need to eat on a schedule. Eat at least three meals and one or two snacks every three to four hours daily. Mm. Get at least seven hours of sleep every night. Less than seven hours of sleep has been associated with higher adrenaline levels, reported hunger, and higher body weight in research studies. Eating animal protein at every meal. Protein takes longer to digest, and studies show it is the most effective food group at lowering adrenaline. Um, drink at least 75 ounces water daily. Thirst and hunger are easily confused because they share the same side effects. Fatigue, muscle cramping, soreness, dizziness, poor concentration. <laughs> Reduce stress. Stress is associated with a high body weight and adrenaline production. Increase muscle mass. Higher amounts of fat-free mass or muscles are associated with lower levels. So when I was doing the uh, research on that, I, I found that very interesting because we could have really just taken that right out of our uh, five and one guide, don't you? Yes. Yes. And when when we eat every, every who's Tony? Is that you? Is that Moki? No. Yeah, no. That. Um, so so when they tell us on our program to eat every uh, two to three hours and never go longer than four hours without eating. They didn't give us the rest of that. So how interesting to know now that what we're doing, that's where our appetite, uh, that's where we're controlling our appetite. We tell people all the time, never go more than three hours without eating. Don't skip a meal. Now we know. Yes, yes. Huh? Now we know how that plays into everything. And then we know about the sleep. Uh, that is definitely something we've all worked on. That's part of our healthy habits. I know that they tell us when somebody's hungry on the program to have them eat some protein. And obviously, that's why it makes you feel fuller. It, it controls that ghrelin. And then the 75 ounces of water. Which, how many, uh, uh, the, the, the stress, it's in everything. Reducing stress is in everything. And stress is associated with uh, the production of ghrelin. You get stressed and you want to go eat. And then exercise. Exercise is always there. So I'm guilty right now, and uh, but I had that surgery, so I've had to sit down and not be doing the things that I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm getting very, I, I, to me, I should have already been back into some kind of routine, some kind of schedule, but I will get to that. But isn't it terrible that we put off the very things that's going to help us most? Yep. Yep. Yeah, and they're easy things. And I'm going to say it again. God didn't make breathing, leave breathing up to us. We all, <laughs> we all be messed that up too. This is a smart man. <laughs> no, what I, think, what I think is amazing and I'm very grateful for is as you were reading this, I was yeah. going, check, 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 and check. Wait till, we, to, wait till we tie it all together. Wait, yeah. You're going to be so surprised. Ghrelin is a very important hunger hormone. It plays a major role in hunger, appetite, and food intake. Because of this, it can have a big effect on your success with weight loss and maintenance. And I say the, the part of the research that I read said that ghrelin is the reason that so many people put their weight back on. Mm. 
because those very things that you can do to avoid that hunger are the, we don't do them. We go right back to old lifestyles. So that's going to do the stress, the lack of sleep, you know, all that stuff. Can I get a picture? Can you print me off that ghrelin? I want to stick them on my refrigerator. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I'll do that. (laughs) Okay. So now I'm going to stop recording and we'll go on to our share. I know Dorothy's getting close to uh, Dorothy. If you happen to leave while we're doing our lesson, uh, I'll catch you. You'll be home for Thursday morning. Yes, I'll be home. All right. I'll see you Thursday morning if you have to leave. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead, stop the recording.